I've been camping out of vehicles for a very, very long time, all the way back to probably 1966, 67, something like that. Um, but I had a granddaughter born in 1991, and I was trying to remain a big part of her life, but I was, uh, I got laid off from my job. I had very, very bad knees, and couldn't walk very well and without a job I really couldn't afford to stay in an apartment so I had bought uh, I had bought a brand new van before I got laid off and it came to me one day I got the van so my granddaughter and I could go camping so I'll go camping and I began to downsize I taped off I had a trailer a small cargo trailer I taped off my living room corner the size of the inside of the cargo trailer and started putting everything in there. It had to fit or it had to go. So once I got rid of everything, I hooked up the trailer, got in the van and drove off. I haven't lived in a, a house since really, except when I was recovering from medical things or something. I wanted to live in a van. I don't even know wh why that was my decision, but it, it takes time to get used to it. Some people go out and they try it for six months or a year or something like that and they experience some of that anxiety and fear and stuff and so they they quit. You know, I, I think I probably did it maybe three years before I really settled in to getting comfortable. I had said for a long time, for years, that once, I, once te technology got cheap enough that I could afford it, and have my computer lab in the van, I would hit the road full time. So that all came together, but it took years. You know, it was a process from about 1994 all the way up into 2009 when I finally got on the road full time. I think one of the things that motivated me to do this is I ended up, and a lot of women my age and even younger have told me the same thing, I ended up feeling, and, and it might be in my own mind only, I'm not sure, but I, f I ended up feeling estranged from my family, from my children and my oldest granddaughter. And um, it, it, I didn't know how to fix that. I finally concluded I couldn't fix that. And so I needed to do something to replace what I felt was missing in my life. I needed to do something big enough to take my mind off of it, otherwise the depression was going to kill me.